Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we are going to learn sine rule. Please don't forget to subscribe below for more easy to understand math concept. If you have a triangle, first you need to check if it is a right angle triangle. If your answer is a yes, then the rules of Pythagoras and the trigonometric functions comes into play. If your answer or your response is no, then the sine rule and the cos rule is applied. If we have a triangle with angle A facing side A and angle B facing side B and angle C facing side C, the sine rule states that the ratio of the sine of angle A over side A is equal to sine of angle B over side B and it's also equal to the sine of angle C over side C. We can also write it in the ratio of the side A over sine of angle A equals side B over sine of side angle B equals side C over sine of angle C. This formula can be used interchangeably. That is, the ratio can be flipped. Let's take a look at the following examples. In our first example, we have a triangle ABC such that angle A is 25 degrees, angle B and C are unknown, side B is 100 and side A is 60. Using the sine ratio, we know that sine A over side BC is equal to sine B over side AC. Sine 25 over 60 equals sine B over 100. Remember, the question says solve for angle B. Using the cross multiplication method, we know that if we have A over B equals to C over D, if we cross multiply, we are going to have AD equals to BC. Using the same method, we are going to cross multiply and a new equation is going to be 100 times sine 25 equals 60 times sine b. Dividing both sides by 60, in order to isolate sine b, we are going to have, remember whatever you do on your left hand side, you do on your right hand side. This cancels, we are left with 100 sine 25 over 60 equals sine b. If I flip my equation, I'm going to have sine b equals 100 sine 25 over 60. And if you put that in your calculator, you're going to have 0, 0,7044. To find b, you find the arc sine of 0, 0,7044. So your angle b is going to be arc sine of 0, 0,70. For four. Therefore, your B is going to be 44,78, correct to two decimal places. Let's try out another example. If we have a triangle PQR with angle Q given as 80 degrees, angle P is 60 degrees, line QR is 7 centimeter, and line PR is being represented by X. The question says, find side X. Matching our angle and side, we have 80 degree and side X. And we also have angle 60 and side 7 centimeter. Using our sine rule, PR over sine Q equals QR over sine P. Substituting for the values, we are going to have X over sine 80 equals QR, which is 7, over sine 60. 
using cross multiplication, we're going to have x times sine 60 equals 7 sine 80. Dividing both sides by sine 60, we're going to have over sine 60 on my left hand side and over sine 60 on my right hand side. This cancels out. We are left with x equals 7 sine 80 degree over sine 60. And if you put that in your calculator, you're going to have x equals 7,96 centimeters to two decimal places. In this interesting example, we have to find an angle and a side. We have triangle XYZ with angle X 70 degrees, angle Z 60, line XY 13 meters, and line XZ 4 meters. We all know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. Thus, to find angle Y, we know that angle Y plus 70 plus 60 degree must give us 180. Always remember to give the reason. Y plus 130 equals to 180 degree. Using the balance method, we take out 130 degree from both sides. We're left with angle Y equals 180 degree minus 130 degree. Therefore, angle Y equals 50 degree. For the second question to find side YZ, we know that sine Y over XZ equals sine X over YZ. Sine 50 degrees over 4 equals sine 70 degrees over YZ. Using cross multiplication, we're going to have YZ sine 50 degrees equals 4 sine 70 degrees. Making YZ a subject of formula, we divide both sides by sine 50 degrees. We're going to have YZ equals 4 sine 70 degrees divided by sine 50 degrees. Therefore, your YZ is going to give you 4,9 meters to one decimal place. Let's try out the following challenge question. In the first triangle, we have triangle ABC with sides AB, it's centimeters side AC 6 centimeters and angle B 46 degrees. The question says find angle C. And the second challenge question we have triangle PQR with sides PQ equals 5 meters, side PR Y, angle Q 56 degrees and angle R 67 degrees. The question says find Y. You can pause the video and try it out. For the first challenge question, you're going to have angle C to be 73,56 degrees to two decimal places. And for the second one, you're going to have Y equals 4.5 meters. Thanks for watching. Bye.